Now, soapstone dealers in South Mugirango constituency, Kisi County, fear they may lose grip on the industry as new entrants make inroads with the two levels of government appear undecided on its structured exploitation. Now, private developers from Asia were mining the soapstone and ferrying the raw material home for value addition using sophisticated equipment unlike the local artisans. The soapstone could be used in their construction, tourism and pharmaceutical industries, among others. Kisi Soapstone Art Center Kisak Director at Pepo Ombasa disclosed that some Chinese peop business people have, uh, had entered the industry and were mining and exporting home the unique store. I know the county government is doing something to make sure that we don't lose our stones because we are seeing some Chinese coming to Kisi and they mine the stone, then move it from Kisi when it is raw and they export it to their country. And with the way they are developed, it is not possible to compete with them because they use very sophisticated machines to come up with the figures or whatever they work on it. So the high sales or taxation from the county, at least it is helping. But I think we need a more aggressive approach to what we are doing. And basically, I will zero it down that the, the stakeholders, the, the county officials, the national government officials, the local people who use substance should meet and have a discussion. And out of it, we have something very good. Kericho woman representative Beatrice Kemei has intensified her efforts in the fight